Hey y'all, so we're down here at the tractor port. Uh, plan for today is we got to go ahead and get our solar panel put up on the ceiling. Been busy most of the day with soccer games and everything, but we got a little time right now. So I'll at least do the hairiest part and get that solar panel up there, get the wires brought through, and then I guess we'll see how far we get. Anything we got left over, we'll finish tomorrow. Right here, we've got our uh, solar panel. Ooh, just gotta get her opened up. See what all we need. We've put one of these over by the shop. So, not a big deal. We just gotta figure out what we need so that we can get it all set up and wired in the right way. So, let's go ahead and get it together. And then I guess we'll uh, go ahead and bring you back when we're sticking it up on the roof. Okay, so now that we got the brackets put on the side, we're gonna go ahead and mount our uh, brackets that'll actually go and screw into the roof up here. So they just require the same things, the wing nut here, here, and then in your adjustment place, whatever you want the angle to be. All right, so here we go. We got our solar panel in the position that we wanted at. We want to try to go ahead. We have the steel beams right here coming through, or I guess the steel uh, tube coming through. We want to get some self-tapping screws in there, go through the sheet metal into that right here, and then we'll do the same thing down here, and we'll do it as well over here. Right So far, so good. Okay. Yes, I know, the cock doesn't really match, but it's on the roof, so. Go ahead and get this wired up, and I think we'll be good to go. All right, so let's get this wired up. Hey y'all, so we're back down here working on this solar. As you see, we have the actual wiring put in down here to the uh, battery. So we've had that battery charging now all week long. So the next step's gonna be go ahead and hook up our actual switch as well as putting our light up here above us. Probably put the light in and then we can run wiring from the light down to the switch and then as well to the battery and then we'll actually have power down here, so. All right, so we've got it zip tied up here just to hold it in place. And we'll go ahead and put in our two self-tapping screws to actually hold it in there and we can either take off or Leave on the zip ties, it don't really matter. It'll stay up there. Okay, so there you have it. The light's up here. And uh, next step is gonna be getting these wires trimmed down and run through some actual Romex down to the switch and uh, we'll be able to fire this thing up. Okay, so we got it pulled off of there, the actual end connector to it. This will hook up to the light. We'll go ahead and strip off a little bit more of this so we can have some more room to work with. Strip these wires, do the same to our Romax, and we can go ahead and hook them all up. Okay, that should do nicely for that one. And I think that'll work okay. We'll put some tape on here just to make sure we don't have anything cross in and touch in and cause any problems or anything like that. But I think we'll be good to go. Okay, <clears throat> so now we've got our wire all tied up with our connector on the end. We're gonna go ahead and get it hung up here so we can see how much length we need to get down there to the light switch so that we can hook everything up, hook it to the battery, and we'll be done. OK, 
Okay, so we've got all this on here. Go ahead and get our other wire trimmed down, our excess that's gonna come into the top of this light switch here. Got the knockouts pushed already. And we can go ahead and get our switch put in here and we'll be good to go. Okay, so we got our two wires right here. We're gonna go ahead and get them bare so that we can adjoin the neutrals together. And then we'll actually put the, uh, the hot wires through the switch so we can turn the power on and turn it back off. Now with all of these, we're just getting rid of the, uh, the ground wire here. Something handy with these screwdrivers. So they got that little hole on the side right there. So you can get your wire in there and bend it the correct way to actually go onto your switch. So now we're gonna go ahead and hook up our actual terminals that go up to the switch and then from there go up to the uh, light. We've already got it hooked up to the solar panel here, so we're just gonna loosen these up, go ahead and put these on, and we'll be good to go. All right, so time for the moment of truth. There we go. And we have light now. It's a pretty focused light, but I think at nighttime, that's gonna really light this place up pretty good. So, you got the solar panel up on the roof, up here, coming down to the box. Then you have that coming over here to the actual battery. And the battery, come up to the switch, right here, and then goes up to the light, and it's as easy as that. And essentially, free power, other than the ingredients that you gotta buy to get it all hooked up, but from then on, you don't gotta pay the power company or anything. Just sun comes out, charge the battery up, you use it as you want. All right, thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it.